She is the victim known as Hope, and tonight Hope is what her family continues to hold on to. 75 year old Hope Herrera has been in the hospital ever since the Austin bomber targeted her family's home. And tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from that family. Tony Plohetsky has this KVU exclusive. Mike, those bombing attacks in March killed two people and injured four others, including Mary Moreno's daughter outside their southeast Austin home. Family members say they live with so many questions, but they realize they will probably never be answered. It is a house filled with signs of hope and faith and love. It's just been hard to accept it. That's why this family can't understand why the White House on Galindo Street, their family home for more than half a century, was a target of the Austin bomber. Just like, why here, you know? Why my sister? On the morning of May 12th, their mother, 93-year-old Mary Moreno, was sitting in her favorite chair in her kitchen. She just finished breakfast when her daughter and full-time caretaker, Esperanza Herrera, affectionately called Hope, went outside the front door. She assumed a package left overnight was her mother's mail order medication. Then a blast rocked the Moreno home. I had the water heater in here, and I was screaming the water heater boss. It was the second of two explosions that day. The first killed 17-year-old Draylen Mason and put Austin on edge that a serial bomber was on the loose. Marino says she realized what had just unfolded outside was far more dangerous. And then I start uh, hear her screaming, take my mother out. And I was going to walk and I saw that all the glasses. Moreno used her walker to escape out her back door where neighbors got her to safety. The last thing she saw before paramedics loaded her into an ambulance was her daughter and wondering whether she would live or die. I saw her on the, the ground, all bloody, and I couldn't get her to her because they didn't let me. Over the past 11 weeks, family members say they have been by Esperanza's bedside, their mother staying with her sometimes 12 hours at a time and almost refusing to leave. Every chance she gets, she wants to be there with her. Moreno could not return to her home for several weeks, not until the FBI no longer considered it a crime scene and family members could make necessary repairs. Now the family is focused on Esperanza's healing. I said, well, there's hope for her. There's, there's a second chance for her. And one day, hopefully, her return to this house on Galindo Street. But I want to be here for her. The family says Mary Moreno had to do several repairs to her home, including a new front door. Family members have also added security cameras after they say their feeling of safety on the street has been forever tarnished. Tony Plahetsky, KVU News Nightbeat.